Well, hey, this is Josh Nelson with Plumbing and HVAC SEO, and I wanted to shoot this quick video um, about the coronavirus or the COVID-19 and what's going on. And I know that there's a lot of concern and there's a lot of fear, you know, working with um, 170 or so plumbing and HVAC contractors across the country. We just got back from the service roundtable, Nextstar, QSC events kind of all at the same time here in March. And I know that there's, there's some concern and there's like, kind of like, what do we do next? You know, this is going to create some problems. It's going to create some slowdown. What should we do, right? Should we, you know, press forward? Should we pause and protect our team? Should we pause and protect our, our customers? Um, do we kind of turn everything off? What, what do we do next? And what, what really should we do? And I really think there's an opportunity because, you know, there's really one of two ways this could go, right? There's the, you know, hear the news, get really scared and concerned, and, and shut things down, or there's the, look, let's find the opportunity here. Let's find the opportunity to separate ourselves from the competition. Let's, let's find the opportunity to get ahead. So I wanted to create this quick overview of what I think um, really is the COVID-19 opportunity for plumbing and HVAC and home service contractors. So here's the reality of the situation. Tough times are ahead, right? If we've all been watching the news, even though we should try and limit news exposure, um, Disney is closed, NBA is shut down, it, restaurants now are getting closures throughout the country, uh, people are being told to stay home. So, you know, whether this turns into a massive epidemic that infects the entire country or not, there's going to be um, a massive slowdown in the economy, which is ultimately going to result in um, some financial tough times. So let's just face that as a reality. But I, I really believe that those financial hardships tend to tend to really impact the largest corporations um, in the world and small businesses which is defined by the SBA as businesses doing less than 20 million dollars per year you know can really pivot a lot of, a lot quicker I was on an interview a couple days ago with Mike McCallis author of the the books profit first and um, the pumpkin plan and fix this next a, a lot of really really great books and he works with almost 200,000 small businesses across the country. And he was saying he really thinks this is a, a massive opportunity. Despite the tough times ahead, small businesses can use this as an opportunity to really get, a, get an advantage against the, against the competition and in the, and the market. Here's, here's the ultimate reality. Um, as plumbing, HVAC, home service companies, our customers still need our services, right? They still need your services. Right? If the heating or cooling stops working, they have to get that fixed. If there's a, a, a blocked pipe or there's, um, you know, the, the water heater is not working correctly, they're still going to need these services. Right? So it's not like the demand in this industry just goes away because there's uh, a virus. Right? And I think that if you can message it correctly, you can stand out as a company that's available to serve is completely prepared, right? Your techs have been trained on how to keep themselves safe and more importantly, how to keep the customer safe when you enter their home. So don't feel like, okay, you know, coronavirus news is telling me doomsday is ahead that we just need to shut everything down, right? You have to keep, you have to keep yourself in momentum. So really there's, I really feel like there's two potential outcomes in this, in this scenario. Uh, and, and really you have to decide which outcome you believe is more likely to happen. Outcome one is this is the apocalypse, right? This is going to last forever. Um, there's going to be a massive downturn in the economy. It's going to be a huge recession. And we might as well just fold up shop, turn things off, you know, go lay in the bed and wait for the end, right? And, and if you listen to the news and you hear what's being said out there, you might feel like that's the outcome, right? But the other potential outcome, which, which I personally believe is more likely, is that this is going to be a short-term situation, right? This too shall pass, right? Whether it's two weeks, four weeks, six weeks, three months, the rest of 2020, uh, this is going to pass, right? The world and the U.S. economy will be okay, right? We'll get through the coronavirus, um, you know, it's probably not quite as bad as the news is making it out to be. So 
if you believe that this is going to pass and that life will return to some level of normalcy in the next 12 to 24 months, ideally in the next you know 12 to, to 24 weeks, um, if you believe that to be the case, then you know why not keep your foot on the gas? Why not try and be as effective as possible? And again, it creates an opportunity because a lot of people that aren't strategic thinking, you know, that, that can only think about this present moment, get stressed out, right? They hear the news, they find out the kids are gonna be home, they find out that, you know, these major organizations are shut and they just, they just can't function, right? They can't serve their team, they can't serve their clients, they can't keep their marketing strategy going. And so those are the two potential outcomes. If you can really get your mind around the fact that this too shall pass, then it gives, it gives you a great opportunity to, to really take advantage. Because here's what I believe is gonna happen. Um, and I, I'm hearing this from other experts and um, it was kind of reinstated by, by Mike Bacallus on my interview with him the other day. The fact is, your customers still need your services. And even if they didn't, there's an opportunity to expand your organic footprint, right? From an internet marketing centric perspective, right? The opportunity is continue to put out great content. Continue now to use this opportunity to create some video content for your website that can make you stand out um, and, and you know, differentiate yourself from the competition. Uh, continue to, to have our team create blog content and to create links and to syndicate great information that's going to position you so that when this does pass, because you're still with your pedal to the metal, because you're still creating good content, because you're still positioning yourself, you'll potentially be better ranked than the competition that went to sleep during this period of time. So you want to keep thinking about the organic footprint. I also think you want to keep running paid search. There's a really interesting dynamic that I believe is going to happen. I think that, again, your customers are still going to need your services. And some of the competition is going to be so scared and so overwhelmed by the news that they say, okay, let's pause all of our marketing campaigns. Let's stop running SEO. Let's turn off our PPC. Let's be less aggressive in buying our local service ad leads. Let's like tone it all the way down. What that results in is, you know, low hanging opportunity for you, potentially um, lower cost per lead, lower cost per click. Um, and, 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 as it relates to most of these paid advertising mechanisms, you're only paying when somebody's looking for you. So, you know, if for some reason there was no search volume, there wouldn't be any local service ad leads to buy. There wouldn't be any, you know, keywords to bid on. So by all means, we need to keep our paid search campaigns running to show up for the customers that are looking, because if they are looking, they must have a, a serious need, right? And, and ideally, you know, we're gonna be able to actually you know, be at a lower cost and a higher conversion rate because some of your competition isn't going to be paying attention. I think the other opportunity has nothing to do with internet marketing is if you've been thinking about growing through acquisition, uh, you know, buying, you know, companies that just, you know, they don't have the financial resources to, to weather a little bit of a storm um, or they're just stressed out and they're like, oh man, I don't want to deal with this over the next couple of months. Um, anytime that there's, um, chaos and fear, it represents opportunity to gain market share, to, to get things at a discount. So I would be looking at, you know, who are some of your competitors that might be looking just to fold up shop where you could take over their operations. You could pick up some really amazing technicians that might have taken you, you know, three years to train up and develop, uh, to take over a phone number that is already out there getting calls and getting leads, to take over a website that's already organically ranked for the plumbing, HVAC, home service, key terms in your market. So I would be looking for those types of opportunities as well because this is an unprecedented time. You know, this hasn't happened in my lifetime. It hasn't happened in many generations where something of this scope is happening. Um, but if you believe this too shall pass, well then let's find the opportunities. Let's capitalize on those those people that, that are just thinking, now I'm gonna fold it up, right? And let's, let's get those assets and let's take advantage of them. So really, I believe, again, there, there is an opportunity, um, really, I think it's an opportunity to take market share, to serve your, company, your customers in their time of need, right? They, they have needs. Let's make sure we need them, uh, that we serve them, um, and let's get a long-term competitive advantage. 
because we're picking up customers when others aren't, because we're being aggressive and we're getting those pay-per-click opportunities that others probably wouldn't, um, and because we're planting the long-term seeds and expanding our organic reach. Now, I think it's important if you're going to do this, which I think we all should, is to make sure that we emphasize that our operation is open, right? We're here, don't worry, we're here, we will serve you, we can dispatch technicians, we can get out to your home. Um, and I wanna make sure that you, you, you kind of emphasize that and that your team is prepared, right? There is risk for your team and for the customer. And your customer's really concerned is, if I call this plumbing or HVAC or home service company out to my house, are they going to, first of all, not have the virus? Are they not going to have been exposed to someone that has the virus? Um, are they going to you know, you know, be safe for me and my family? So you really wanna emphasize that your team um, has been briefed on the, uh, on the threat. They've been trained on how to proceed. That's where they're, they're washing their hands before they enter their home. They're putting on booties. Potentially they have availability to wear a mask if you can do that. Um, you just wanna emphasize you're available and that you've thought this through and that their safety is of utmost importance to you. And you're double checking your text to make sure that they're, you know, they don't have a fever, they're not showing any symptoms. And so you can safely put people into their homes. So I, I really think this, again, this is an opportunity to focus on your organic footprint, to keep your paid search campaigns running, to pick up that lower cost per lead and to pick up market share uh, so that when this passes, which it will, you're positioned in a better place than you were before. So we did put together a nice little resource for you. Um, you can get it by going to plumberseo.net slash COVID kit. Um, it's just a mess messaging kit so that if you want to send a message out to your customer base saying, hey, look, we're open for business. We're here to serve you. Um, this is how we've prepared and these are the things that we have in place. There's a template that you can download there and use. Um, if you're one of our clients, uh, we can get this out. You know, one of our clients on the um, social media and email marketing services. Uh, of course, we can get this out for you to your customer database. Make sure they know you're open for business, your team is prepared, and you're ready to rock and roll. Um, and then also, you know, you, you want to put something like this probably on your website. Um, you know, ideally, um, a blog post potentially, uh, maybe a pop up that says, "Hey, here's our quick warning about COVID-19. Our team is here to serve you. We're prepared." Um, if you have the wherewithal, I think a video, a short video that we can add to your homepage as a pop-up would be really good as well. Hey, thanks for visiting the XYZ Plumbing HVAC website. You know, if you're concerned about COVID-19, um, don't worry, we can serve you. Our team is prepared. We're going to make sure your family's safe. You know, if you need anything, call us now, click the chat button below. Um, let us get someone out to help serve your, your family and your home during this tough time. Uh, so, you know, some ideas and resources for that are available for you at plumberseo.net slash COVID dash kit. Uh, so go there, download that. And I would say, you know, take advantage of this opportunity. Now is not the time to cower. Now is not the time to be in fear. Now is not the time to slow everything down. Now is the time to capitalize and to take advantage of the COVID-19 opportunity while remaining safe, while taking care of your family, and while taking great care of your customers. So I hope this helps. I hope maybe this, this kind of jogs some ideas and kind of inspires you to, to kind of be as proactive as possible during this time. If there's anything we can do to help, feel free to call us, 866-610-4647, um, or go to plumberseo.net slash schedule course, we're open for business. Um, our team is here to serve, support, and help you generate more leads and sales and take your plumbing, HVAC, or home services business to the next level. Be safe. I'll talk to you soon.